Good morning, everybody. Hopefully the dogs won't knock this over. Uh, they're kind of coming this way. But uh, I figured I'm going to make my coffee down here. Uh, go. I, I got to make my coffee. I don't want you to knock it over. Of course, all the dogs right here. Um, I brought my little coffee maker. I got my generator running. You can probably hear that. I got a whole stack of lumber over here because I'm building. So I'm going to go ahead and crank this on and actually make coffee with the crackers this morning. So... Uh, we'll let that brew up. Uh, I absolutely love the smell of coffee. So I'm pretty excited. You guys will see how much creamer and, and sweet low and all that stuff I put in. It's a lot. But uh, yeah, so I woke up this morning and I was just blown up with messages and stuff like that. Um, it's crazy. So I'm just going to address the elephant in the room and uh, uh, basically talk about the uh, the meetup that I've been wanting to have uh, so there are other channels out there um, it's keeping it Dutch and Hidden Heights Farm uh, they are local here uh, this is where they grew up I think and uh, I'm roughly an hour away um, priors where I go to the hotel, that's where we did the YouTube, uh, meetups before, um, before that, uh, Dutch, Kevin, and I, and, and Daniel Arms, and, you know, some other people were going to do a big meetup together, that didn't happen because the pandemic hit, and then, um, you know, plans got changed, and that's why we just did the YouTube meetup, um, you know, me, the Sawyers, Payne family, stuff like that, and, uh, I guess, you know, there there's a history. Um, honestly, none of that even matters anymore. Um, from what I heard, uh, Keeping It Dutch and Hidden Heights Farm are going to be putting on like a homestead convention type thing. I'm not 100% sure. Um, I honestly don't watch their videos. I don't think they watch mine. Uh, it's just a mutual thing that we have. We just didn't get along, um, kind of like we thought we would, which is fine. And uh, it's been a long time since we've uh, hung out. And honestly, on my side, there ain't no bad blood. I'm going to assume on their side, there ain't no bad blood. So um, they are putting on this homestead convention thing. Um, I think it's March... 17th through 19th if I remember correctly um, from what you guys were saying and uh, you know a lot of you guys know I've been talking about doing a shoot dang meetup shoot dang fest uh, whatever you want to call it it basically be just like the YouTube meetups that we've had in the past except very basic um, pretty much like no vendors uh, no you know activities like that it would just be more of uh, hanging out at the hotel if that's where we do it and then uh, um, just a whole weekend party if you want to call it that just be like a shoot dang party um, it's not you know a the crockers meet up or anything like that it's just a shoot dang fest to where if you know, any channel out there wants to come hang out and, uh, you know, help promote themselves, have fun, uh, you know, hang out with each other, then that's what it's going to be. Um, you know, there won't really, we won't be taking money for vendor spots or nothing like that like we have in the past. Uh, honestly, I don't want to deal with that, so I'm not going to. I don't know if that sun's making it where it's super dark, but you don't need to see me. If you see the sun and the coffee, then we're good. Um, so... You know, I've been planning for a long time when to do the meetup, and I had said roughly six months. Well, that's basically March 17th to 19th or whatever it is that they're choosing. And I'm thinking, why don't we just have Shoot Dang Fest the same weekend? Um, not as a competition, more as, hey, let's bring as many people as we can to prior and then it's not a competition it's not 
uh, picking and choosing if, say, you only get one vacation out of the year, um, why not do both if you want to do both? Um, you know, why not come into town and you get two events that you would like to go to? Um, you know, this is the first tick I found on Ami in a while. Um, you know, a lot of people feel it as a competition. Um, I get that. Uh, but I honestly don't want it to be that way. Um, as you guys could tell a lot over the last few months, um, I become a different person. Uh, I have <clears throat> very much enjoyed uh, everything I'm doing, enjoy my life. I enjoy, you know, especially Danielle. Um, just everything that's going on, I just feel like a much better person. And honestly, I think that this would be an awesome thing for everybody if I just set it for the same dates. Um, can honestly go back and forth to both if you want to go to both. Um, I just don't want this to feel like a competition. I don't want this to feel like people have to pick and choose when they can come. Um, I don't want people to have to, uh, you know, again, only get one vacation a year to have to decide. Let's do both. Um, I'm honestly not all that interested in homesteading stuff. Um, I, I went to a homesteading convention a while back, um, years ago, and it's like Homesteaders of America or something. I was bored. Um, <laughs> I was extremely bored. But there's a lot of people that watch my stuff, because I started in the homesteading niche, that like the homesteading stuff, but also like the off-grid stuff and the shoot dang and all that type of stuff. So I don't want anyone to have to pick and choose. So I'm thinking, what if we just did um, March 17th through 19th? Um, I'm assuming that's a Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I should probably look into that, but this isn't set in stone. Uh, I just wanted to get your guys' opinion on on that. Um, if a lot of you would like to do both, then uh, this would definitely be something that I would really consider, and uh, I think it'd be awesome. I think, honestly, it would help both events and have as many people in town as possible and uh, can go back and forth, and it'd just be fun. Um, so, if you guys are interested in something like that on the same date, let me know. But for now, I need my coffee. So, I'm going to put in these little creamers I got. That's one. Two. Three. Four. And then some uh, sweet and low here. This is why I normally do it before, so you guys don't have to watch me do this coffee. This is all that interesting. But this is off grid coffee with a generator and a tiny coffee maker. Um, normally, you guys know that. Uh, I get a fire going and all that, but I gotta get building. I got all this building stuff over here I need to put to use. I'm dripping. This sucker always drips. I don't know why. Turn that off now. I don't need it to do it anymore. But uh, stir this up. Let's taste it. Not bad, could probably use a little more creamer. Uh, but yeah, I just figured I would dress that um, just because I got blown up. I mean blown up with messages and stuff. And honestly, I don't want um, anything to come between uh, this you know, event, the shoot dang one that we've been wanting to do, um, and the homestead convention thing they're trying to do um, again I don't think either one of us are stepping on toes um, I've talked about it but I never set a date um, if they knew about that and they set the date 
then I'm not taking it as anything against me. It's just I never set a date, so they set a date. Um, but I just want to put this out there to all you guys. Um, I have no ill feelings towards keeping it Dutch or Hidden Knights Farm. Um, what happened in the past happened in the past, and uh, you know, I would like to think they're the same way. Um, they, you know, are Christians and, um, you know, promote that on their channels. So I would just assume in their eyes, um, they don't have any hard feelings. It's one of those that, you know, you, it's forgiveness. Um, it's whatever happened, happened. Um, uh, people can change. People, um, do things that, uh, you know, they don't, uh, maybe like that they did. Um, you know, all that stuff. Uh, I am a Christian and uh, I do not ever really promote my religion or anything like that because I am not a perfect Christian. I am far from a perfect Christian. Um, I do believe in God and I do um, believe in forgiveness and, and prayer and, you know, everything that goes with that. I'm not going to jump too far into it, but uh, I just don't really put my stuff out there to everybody but um, definitely I think to be a better person uh, forgiveness is a huge thing and uh, I'm asking you guys um, to just like whatever happened back in the day it just stays back in the day um, I'm sure everything they're doing they're doing out of the goodness of the heart everything I do I want to do out of the goodness of my heart um, I was a turd for long enough, and uh, I want to apologize to all you guys and Keeping It Dutch and Hidden Knights Farm uh, on here. And, uh, you know, sometimes you just got to realize that, hey, you're not perfect and things happen, and um, why not come together? And I don't want to do one big event because I think we have two different passions. Uh, there's more homesteading. Mine's more of just like, I just want to live my life and have fun. Um, at their event, there won't be any drinking or anything. At the shoot dang event, there will be drinking. Uh, I don't really want to mix those because not everyone likes both. Um, so, uh, just addressing the elephant in the room, you know, keeping the Dutch and, and Hidden Knights Farm. Uh, I honestly have nothing against them. And I think, honestly, uh, we can come together without actually being on the same event and uh, have it the same weekend and bring more people in and you guys could do both. So if you guys think that's a good idea, let me know and uh, I'll go ahead and set the dates. But for now, I'm not gonna set the dates for that. Um, I just want the biggest events for both of us uh, because at the end of the day, we're putting out events for you guys and uh, the better it could be for you guys, the more you could get out of it. I think the better off uh, we are as YouTubers that put on these events um, can feel, and uh, it, it'll it'll be a good thing for everybody. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think. But uh, I'm gonna drink this coffee. Got all this building stuff here. I gotta start building on this tiny house slash shed slash off grid property stuff i don't know so uh hope you guys enjoyed the video and i uh, hope you're excited for the building in the shed i don't want to say like this some more because i feel like i gotta poop bye